Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Dream of Crafts. My name is Deanna and today we'll be working on tutorial number two for my Raining Cats and Dogs mini album and I wanted to show you what I had left. I have this. This is my scrap. This is it. I used every bit of this. Every single bit. So I have just this one little card and I'm hoping to slip this in somewhere. So other than that, I just have the cover. So I was pretty happy. Now, in addition to that, I used these and this. So I used some of this teal color and it is coordinations coordinations or something like that and it's just like a teal color to go along with you could use any color but this helps stretch my paper and stuff a little bit because then I could use some of the tags and other things back right and I also used three different graphic 45 papers I have they're all from the children's hour collection and one was February one was July and one was May and they were 2016 papers so I just happen to have like large packs of them. So, and I use these as my background because their colors run so similar in each of their kits. So it makes it kind of nice. So I did use these in addition to, but you could use just a, a, one of their products for extra decorative cardstock or just use plain additional cardstock. And I did it just because it's a little bigger than the eight by eight. So I wanted to fill in a little bit, but you wouldn't have to. But so I used those, the red stripe, the black stripe and the black and white polka dot in addition to this. So we can go ahead and get started here. I've got this set up to ready to go. So we're just gonna start gluing it down. So I've got a paper clip, so it takes a little bit more room, but I'll get it. So on this piece, I've used just a piece of teal. And this is cut eight three eighths by eight and a quarter. And we can go ahead and glue that down. So and this video will take it'll take a bit because everything is cut and ready to go, but it still takes a bit to build. And um if this doesn't interest you, that's fine. You don't have to watch the decorating part. I like to watch that part of people's videos. So, and I know there's some of you that like to do the same thing. So we're going to do this together. Those paper clips and stuff under there are creating lots of extra thickness and can't get it flat down there we go lots of extra thickness goodness gracious let's try again I've got them all stuffed in there so <laughs> everything is stuffed in there but that was my easiest way to keep track of what went where Try again here. Oops, I've got the spacing in the wrong direction. Do I have the spacing in the wrong direction? Nope, I don't. Okay, here we go. Just wanted to make sure. All right, there we go. That's better. That's better. And then this is the piece I chose for here. And I'll just give another nice little outline. Everything was um, edged with my black soot ink. Ranger Tim Holtz Distress Ink there. And then we're going to kind of center this. There we go. Oops, 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 oops. I have this little tag here too that I want to put on there. So that's going to be buried. That's going to be underneath there. So let's go ahead and put 
that underneath there. Just like this, it's going to be on there. Okay. And then this, we're just going to put this tag on there. Some of the tags I've already got attached just because it was easier than having them float around and get set aside, moved around. Okay, so that goes like that. And then I have the strip that's home is where the dog is. Home is where my dog is. And I thought that would be nice right at the top have to break that up a little bit and this one just happened to be red the cat one is green so this one is red there we go all right so that takes care of that one let's go ahead and flip this i'm going to actually flip some of these out of the way there I think I can get some of them out of the way. So it's easier. There we go. All right. So these, I've got two tags. Just to use my uh, teal card tag. And I cut apart the little strip of stamps. And I cut five dogs for each side. And then just took black cardstock and just kind of tilted them, glued them together fussy cut around that so this is going to go on the outside here and I like adding I liked adding the teal because it it made some of these pop a little bit better instead of just using all of the black red and stuff in it allowed my paper to stretch a little bit further so you could use all of another base color and then throwing in the little things like that stuff to add to it helped it out and this one is just glued out room for a full picture here you know you can just well cut it down a little bit i guess but if i would put the tag down a little bit lower but I don't know what pictures she has. This is a gift for my cousin and her boyfriend. They lost both their dog and their cat last year, not too far apart. And so this is a gift for them. So, And then this is going to go right on this left-hand panel. It's the opposite of the side. From... There we go. We have that. And we have that. And then for the center, I've got my red extra card stock. This is lifted here. And I just use a strip with the umbrellas on there. And as you can see, this is eight and three, eight and an eighth by eight and three eighths. So it's eight and three eighths high by eight and an eighth wide. And I forgot to tell you the thing of the other ones, so I will tell you before I glue the next ones down because there's a matching on the other side. Okay. So just like that. We got paper clips in here that are kind of interfering a little bit. There we go. All right, so that goes that way. We'll slide this this way. This one here is also popped up. It's just the plaid that they had. Oops. Oh, my glue seat down there. Hang on. I'm just going to smudge this with some black here to cover that up. Maybe. Hmm, I'm not going to be happy with that for sure. Okay. All right, I'm going to quick cut another one of those because that, that doesn't make me happy. 
That does not make me happy. Let's go ahead and get our trimmer here. Another piece of black polka dot. We need eight and three eighths high by eight and a quarter. Eight and three eighths. Okay. Eight and a quarter. There we go. Just like so. Here we go. I got this going in the right direction here. Just like that. Nope. I might have to trim it down a little bit more. I'm going to trim it just a little bit more. My trimmer's kind of bent here. You can see that. So I don't have it laying exactly flat. So that can affect it, but I don't want to move everything out of my way. So. All right, here we go. Let's try again. Just had a little glue seep out when I attached that tag. Wasn't paying attention. this down just like that down there and I wanted to use a full 8 by 8 pack and I came pretty close <laughs> and like I said you could get away with not um, putting this stuff under there but then you're going to have a wider border around and uh, I didn't necessarily want a wider border, so I thought I'd add that. It won't hurt much. Okay, slide you down. And now we're going to do this side here. So these are 8 and 3 eighths high by 4 and 7 eighths wide for both of those sides. I forgot to tell you the measurement of that the last time, so I apologize. So this decorative side of this is eight and three eighths high, four and seven eighths wide. Okay. And we're gonna just put that open that way like that. This one down there. So the right side is dog and the left side is cat. There we go. And then this piece is the red with the umbrellas. And then this is also popped up here. Put my pin in. Um, Crooked. I'm crooked. Nope. It's better. That's better. Gotta find my pen here. Let's 
blue cleared out here a second. Maybe. There we go. All right. So this closes back up. So now here's our little tag. Here we got another one. So I'm going to actually put that up at the top here. Yeah. And I'm just going to put some blue back here. this to there like so just like that press that down there we go all right and then this is our part for here and I didn't write that down for some reason so it is that black makes everything hard eight Eight and a quarter wide by eight and a quarter high. Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. So the back side of this is going to be the same. Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And even though I give you an idea of what my measurements are for my cut pieces, um, if you build this, make sure you just double check your measurements because. If your cuts are just slightly different than mine, then you'll have a different measurement. So. It's hard to see that black on black, I tell you. Do you want that that way? No. There we go. It's just hard for me to see it. Hard for me to see. All right, there we go. It's very hard to see sometimes. There we go. And then this is going to get centered down there. So not a lot of it will show, but just enough. Enough. I think I'm going to go back down to a smaller size blue bottle. I think it'll be a lot easier on my hands and my wrist. I think so. There we go. Just like that. So then this goes this way and then we have just another base page and then this will go on there so. and again eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter one I tried to mix it up a little bit to make it um, you know, a little bit of the teal extra cardstock and then the extra 
colored cardstock too. Stretch it out. There we go. Get out of my way. Gotta get back out of my way. There we go. Oops, and I'm not even screen there. Sorry about that. Let me put this this way. Up and down. Okay, there we go. All right. Sorry about that. Wasn't even in screen. So we put the teal down on the left hand side here and then this down here. Okay. And then this is going to go in the center here. I wonder if I That might help, huh? That might help. It just gets so hard to see. a little easier, doesn't it? A little easier to see. There we go. That's nicer. Okay. Then on this one, I just took two of the same tags and left it open here so you can slide a picture in here if you wanted. So I used the same, same tag, just one on opposite corners there. I think polka dots cute too, but I like the stripe. There we go. All right. So open it that way. And then this is going to go here. So this says got just the other strip of the dogs from the strip piece and then just another um, tag and it's left open there. So it's going to go on this side here. Let's go ahead and move our paper over here so you can see this good. Try to make it easier for you. Now this one is our center and that flips up if you remember. So this one's got the red. Let me take this paper clip out of there. Got the red stripe there for that one. Okay, and get back in there. Eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter again. All right. And just a single sheet. And then I popped up the tag on some of the teal. Bring some of the teal back in there. And then it's lifted up. It doesn't go all the way down.
There we go. Yeah. As you can see, this will slide right under there. So. Hmm. All right. Okay. Now, there's my magnets. Oh, I forgot to put my other magnets on. So these are the magnets that we added the other day. And I did add some down here, but I did forget to... Um, we have to add my other one, so we'll have to do that. All right, so we have the black stripe there. Eight and a quarter high by eight and a quarter wide again. I think my bottle's getting flagged up again. I do, I do. It's getting hard for it to come out. Okay. Let me get around those magnets there. Okay. And then I've got the flower side of this one. Kind of feminine, but I think it'll be all right. I think it'll be all right. I like the paper. Okay. So for down here, we have, this flips down if you remember, I'm already attached a tag to this, and this is eight and three eighths high by eight and a quarter wide. And I can't put the white paper under there because it won't work. <laughs> Look at this section, but. We'll do the best we can to see. The fingers are covered in glue already. Okay. And I do have an arrow there to remind me. And you just remember to stay between your your gusset there on each side. So you don't interfere with that. And then the plaid's going to go on there, like so. A little quiet today. I'm kind of tired out. <laughs> uh, my cousin came over today. I helped her with a project that she was working on. So, there we go. All right. So, I'm just a little tired, kind of in my own zone here. So, very sorry. All right. So, this is four and three eighths high by eight and a quarter wide. There we 
This is the inside of our flip here. And then I just have the dog and cat stamps that are left. Ooh, I gotta get in here. Let me bring this out a little bit more so I'm not so. There we go. So it's just the half of the dog and cat stamp mixed together. I use the other half on the other side for the cats. So used half of them, half of them on each side. So I'm just going to kind of center that. It's going to look that. There we go. All right. So this flips up here. Then we have our other magnets here. All right. And I already put home is where my on top there just to make it easier so I didn't have little pieces floating around and then we've got a short piece here to make up the difference because this was a scrap so I wanted to use it I ended up with more scraps from my reds and my blacks extra papers because um, they uh or 12 by 12s so there we go just like that I'm sure I'll get my glue stuck underneath those magnets there there we go oh, magnets are holding good all right so that's it that's done. That's done. This goes in. Goes in. Some things are going to have to be re. There we go. All right. And this. And then. Where's my other one? Oh, <laughs> I had those open. I'm like, where's my other one? And then that. I have to rescore these and get them broken a little bit. Let's just go going there. Nope, I have it right. Yep. Sometimes you just have to rescore them and get them broke back in. Just get them adjusted a little bit. All right. All right. Go to our other side here. It's gonna be a thick book, isn't it? Or maybe it's all the tags. We'll break her in. We'll break it in. We'll break it in. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and start. We're just gonna go through this as quickly as possible here. This is going to be basically the same, only it's going to be cats. So we'll just kind of reverse there. Yeah. Just cats instead of dogs. So we can move through it a little faster, maybe. Just so you can see. Dogs. 
got the cat one here. I'm gonna just put that on there. So a lot of them were just exactly reversed or I used maybe the opposite side of the paper on the cats than I did the dogs. And some of it's the same and just cats instead of dogs. Let's go ahead and open that. on the top there. go. This one just has the little kitty tag there. This is getting really hard on my hands. Really hard on my hands. All right, this one's getting the black here. And I think I'm going to put this one up here. So let's go ahead and glue that tag up here. Oops. Yeah. Actually, I want to glue it to this one here. Top one. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Let me get this cleaned out here again. Oh my goodness. You see the glue on my fingers is terrible. Makes it look really dirty. Get that ink on the glue, and then it makes your hands look like you haven't washed them in a week. Oh, yeah, it's getting gooped up in there for sure. Just getting gooped up in there. Try again here. A little better. A little better. Oh. And zero here today. Alrighty. Just like that. There we go. Okay. This one. This one on there, like so. There we go. That looks good. 
I actually like this stripe. I think that's pretty, this one here. I think that looks good. Okay. On this side. I'm going to pull this. Okay. This side, we have this here. All this extra paper does make it thicker, though. This probably sounds pretty scratchy to you. I got textured cardstock there. Red is going to go on there. Eight and a quarter by eight and three eighths high. Everything is just doubled. Everything's just doubled. the bump. Oh, that's a paper clip. Okay. Get the paper clip out of there. All right. Okay. And then we got this one with just a tag down here with the cat. this up, bring it down so you can see it here, just like this, and we have another black stripe there, I did put arrows on to help me remember which direction it went. They get twisted around really easy and then it's hard to tell because it's only sometimes an eighth of an inch. So this one I've got the tag in the corner and it's open. And instead of the flower I used the side that showed the cats. Perfect. Now on this one down here, I made a little mistake. I cut this too short, so I've cut another piece to add on to that. So let's go ahead and glue this on. Unfortunately, it's striped, so it's easier to hide a mistake when you do that. But I didn't want to cut a whole another piece of red just for that little tiny piece. So I uh, just cut. 
cut another oops, just another strip to add on there instead just to add a strip on there okay. those things happen sometimes there we go no one knows and then I'm just going to add that on top, just like our dog one. Just like that. Perfect. All right, and here I've got my. Let's see. Here we go. Got my homeless where the cat is already there, and uh, I'm just going to add this black here. Sometimes simple is better than too complicated. Just like that. And again, I've got tag already attached there. The bottom is open. It's open. Just, so if she wants to slide something in there, she can. Doesn't want to, she doesn't have to, or they don't have to, I should say. Again, watching my gussets there. And there we go. I love that plaid. Love that plaid. I didn't put the magnets down, but guess what? It's staying down. So I guess I don't have to worry about it. Hmm. Okay. All right. Slide this down over here. I got so absorbed in what I was doing. Forgot all about it. I'm going to pull this out of here. There we go. So we got a base of blue here again. And we just have the tag up there that's lifted up. I like the look 
for that. And like that. Right. And then this goes this way. And we've got the rat stripe again. Sorry, I'm not very talky tonight. Just getting absorbed in my work, I guess, here. So let's go ahead and set this under there so we can see a little better. Here we go. And again, I've got the same tags on each corner, and they are open. There we go. Gusset there. Put on a tag there. That's all we did. Okay. The tag is open. And this one goes on the inside here. I'll slide it. All right. Like blue and black soot do not mix very well. <laughs> My hands are so filthy. Like so, and then this one again is the cat uh, cut out and popped up there, just like that. I am not going to do a lot of decorating to the cover because I just don't think that's them, and um, so I'm just going to. Leave the cover kind of plain, uh, just because it is for both of them, and I think they'll enjoy looking at it and stuff, so I don't think um, I need a bunch of decorations. Okay. All right, so here we go. Now we're going to get this side here. Pressing that down a little bit. And then we've got another teal here. Another teal. Make sure I'm doing the right side. <laughs> and then we'll have the cover. And that's it. Right here. And then I'll get this mailed out to them so they can 
enjoy it. And if she uh, wants to wait and have some help putting pictures in, then when I go down, I'll help her do that if she wants. And I have just this here like that. Drop that down. And then we've got the home is where my cat is strip here. And here we go with that. Okay. Perfect. Oh, don't go in there like that. Once the bend is getting dried in there, it's going to be cleaned out. Let's see my yellow pen. Oh, I just had it. It was just stuck to my hand. Get some of this glue off of me here a second. All right. For the cover, I have chosen the black polka dot. Like so. For the front and the back. We'll do one side at a time here. Come on, glue. Come on, glue, work with me. All right. There we go. That's a nice size of them, boy. It's going to be, that's like right there, isn't that? You know what? Pull this off and add. Let's add some strips here to help hold that. So let's go ahead and grab a couple of these scraps here. Okay. I'm going to grab just a couple scraps here. I'm the same size. All right. We'll go with these. And. We're going to round the ends. Like so just one end. Like that. Then I'm going to score at the score at two and a half inches. And then allow a bit here. Let me see. Grab my ruler. And one and three quarters. So let's go down one and three quarters. One, two. So four and a quarter. So what do we have? We have two and a half. And four and a quarter. So two and a half, four and a quarter. And then, and then, let's flip this over here and let's glue these down. Let's say an inch. 
let's do an inch and a half from the top. Let's do this right down. We'll use a couple straps just to make it a little more decorative. So I'm going to line my ruler up at an inch and a half there. Bring this in. Put it up against there. Like that. Perfect. The same thing here. and a half put this up against there just like that okay. All right. oh that's too much okay we can rescore that again oh I got it right here that's way too much so I didn't hear me stop there way too big of a score okay there we go that, that's perfect right. and then I'm going to give it a little gusset just in case just in case we need a little extra room there and the pictures get going there Just like that. All right. We're going to use some magnets. Use some good ones here. Um, there. Oh, got a broken one there. I don't like broken magnets. Oh, I like broken magnets. Okay. So. Let's get these going here. All right, so that will help hold that. Okay, and I'm going to put them on here. That way I know exactly where they're at. Okay. Just like so. Right. I'm just tipping my tape upside down. I'm let the magnet hold it in place. Okay, and I'm going to lift this just a little bit to compensate. For that, bring that right like that. Ooh. And the only reason I want the extra room is because once I get some pictures in there, they might need that. I'm pressing, and I always slide so I don't pull my magnet off. There we go. All right. Now, we can do this on. Yeah, we can do this on. And I had planned on doing a closure like that. I had those guys, but I forgot all about it. Forgot all about it. That was my plan. So I had those scraps sitting there. All right. There we go. Ooh.
And then I chose, of course, the front cover one to go here. Indeed, indeed. Center that, center it. There, that to go there. That like that. Right. So then on the back, I'm going to do the same black and white polka dot again. Just like so, okay. Right. And then I have just attached one of the cards to the back there, a little decoration. Fine, I have just the polka dot. Just like that. Okay. So just the polka dot. like that. Just the polka dot. Move this out of the way. Okay. So I'm going to bring in some scraps here. And we're just going to quick add them to that. So we need it's two inches, so one and seven eighths wide. Look at that. Quickly get this done here. I have no idea where my needle went, of course. So one and seven eighths. Okay, so those will go like that. And each of them is figure two inches two and an eight so two inches so two at two inches okay. that's not right that's gonna be like more than that what are you doing three inches all right let's try three inches that sounds better Three inches, three inches, round the corner, round the corner, round the corner, smudgy, smudgy.
Just like that. Same thing here. Like that. Okay. There's nothing there. Let's do gotta get the inside there. So again, three inches. Corner. Again, keep it simple, do them all the same, just like that. Whoopsie, pulling up the, there we go. All right, so we need one and seven eighths. One and seven eighths, ooh. Blue, 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 blue. Okay. Like that. And then. I see how big that is. Okay, I'm going to go an inch. So let's do. Now let's just do this outside edge here. Let's see if I have to have more than an inch. I think an inch will work there too. So we're just going to do another inch. one here. See, we handled that pretty well. All right. And we're going to center that one right here. 
I've got plenty of glue on that one. Perfect. All right. So that is it. If you are subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to take a second to thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you for following along. And I hope you do try some of these projects. I know some of you do. And if you are not subscribed, if you would consider doing so now, I'd appreciate it. Let's go down to the right-hand corner down there in the red subscribe button. Go ahead and hit that. A bell will pop up. And you can choose how you would like to be notified each time I put up a video. So as always, until the next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.